Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and this is what you've been waiting for. Stage 99 with Professor X against world boss Ebony Ma. We've got a full host of strikers. We're going to do the all defense down thing, and you're going to see just how strong Professor X is and how much damage he can deal to this boss. Now, we're going to pop the tier 3 skill here with the all defense down. You're going to see that the damage is insane. Yep, that's that's what it looks like. It's pretty wild. Here's the thing about uh, this clear. Of course, we're taking advantage of the strikers. We're, of course, taking advantage of the secret uh, empire hydra calf combo. Wow, I don't know how we didn't mind control him there. We are taking advantage of the weapon hex and uh, hydra calf combo. But as you can see, the damage is insane. The damage is really insane and even when you miss your proc like i did there you know with the all defense down he's hitting for more he's hitting for about half a million per shot so he has very high base damage professor professor x does and then when you couple that with a uh, hundred percent all defense down and when you couple that with the mind resistance down because he deals mind damage and all of his skills and ebony has you know a low uh resist he you know he, he takes more damage from elemental attacks he's a low elemental resistance you get damage like this where we are you know uh less than 100 seconds into this fight we're like 80 seconds into this fight and we're almost in the second phase he's, he's going at a lightning speed uh and you saw in the other videos that he can do it at tier one so, or tier two so why couldn't he do it at tier three obviously uh if you guys are wondering about the rest of the strikers we've got of course um odin medusa here for decreasing the co-op skill cooldown so that we can have those uh strikers come out more often uh in order to apply that all defense down and then have that insane damage we're just gonna wait here i'm gonna pop the four pop the co-op then pop the tier three and then the damage is gonna start and it's just it's incredible it's amazing a lot of you guys are telling me that i can cancel the tier three skill i know i can cancel the tier three skill but um i can't cancel the tier three skill because uh, I have a regular damage proc obelisk. I don't have a CTP of Rage. I don't have a CTP of Judgment or anything like that. So all, all of what you're seeing is being done. And I'll show you the build in a minute here. But what I'm doing is, is being done with a regular, a very regular build. A very, you know, a vanilla build. Um, and it's actually an unfinished build. So you see, I can finish this in about two and a half minutes. So he blazes through this content. But I want to show you guys some more interesting stuff. And I also want to talk about some of the design choices for Professor X because there's some hidden secrets in there that i think someone on reddit accidentally answered so let's talk about that now so the first big thing with professor x is mind blast we have no idea what mind blast means what it does we just know that he has it on all of his skills and it's linked to mind resistance now what someone on reddit said was that they uh speculate that their hypothesis is that the devs designed the secret empire update with the changes to strikers and the changes to the world boss behavior uh where the world bosses would accumulate uh resistance and they would accumulate tolerance to mind control charm time freeze and so it would work with 100 efficiency at the beginning of the fight but as the fight wore on and you cast it again and again and again it would you know shorten in duration so your five second charm would turn to four seconds your four second charm with three seconds two seconds and we showed that in videos where luna snow's five second charm after casting it eight or nine times was down to one second what they speculated is that the devs uh designed professor x with that update in mind if that update had actually stayed the way that it was stayed intact if they hadn't rolled back the changes then not only would world boss have world boss have been much more difficult for us between that last update and now but professor x might have been way stronger than he is now he's really strong now but if he would have been the only character in the game to be able to reduce the tolerance that the bosses have and basically bring it back to the old way which is the way we're in now imagine how much stronger he would be if if every character got nerfed so you know apocalypse psylocke scarlet witch luna snow doctor strange all those characters that had been clearing stage 99 ebony maw they drop down to like stage 80 or 75 with strikers and then professor x comes in big dick swanging and he just he just plows through 99 because his mind blast uh reduces their tolerance so I think that's what I think that makes a lot of sense. That's a really good theory, um, and it would have meant that Professor X would have been hands down the best character in the game for uh, those particular world bosses, and maybe for all world bosses because he could bypass that and sort of reduce their um, tolerance back to the way that it was, at least when he was fighting, at least when they were fighting him. 
that's just a theory that's just speculation but that is wild now as far as the my build goes as far as the rest of the build it's exactly the same as it was when i played with you guys uh when i played with him for you guys at tier two i didn't touch the uru i didn't touch the iso weight set i did swap the obelisk so it's not exactly the same i swapped the 140 mind damage to a guard break mind damage 200 proc but we did practice with the mind damage 200 proc in the pvp zone uh, and in the, the the giant boss raid and it was it was impressive in giant boss raid it didn't really matter in pvp he doesn't seem to have much pvp value but he is a monster for pve content and that um you know little tidbit and that that little hypothesis about mind blast is so interesting to me um that it, it really adds an extra dimension to this character and it means that he might be even stronger in the future if the devs try to do something like what they did uh in the secret empire update so we'll have to keep an eye on that and wait and see the other thing i want to point out is a couple of things here one professor x is really strong i know i've said it i know you've seen videos uh you know forgo's video stage 99 at tier two but if you consider the comparison between professor x and freaking this turd winter soldier winter soldier's tier three was so disappointing now it's a it's a good tier three skill pursuer's instinct but they didn't change any of his skills one to five and he just doesn't have any damage on one two or three so it's all you know on that four five combo and that four five combo is so specific you have to get the accumulation for, on vibranium blow in order to do any damage yada 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 yeah he can do stage 99 proxima but it's so inconsistent and it's so difficult to pull off where at and it's going to take you like four and a half minutes whereas professor x i just on my first try i did stage 99 uh you know with two minutes to spare that that's just like completely it's night and day right and then you consider that that winter soldier has a uniform and professor x doesn't so imagine if professor x gets a uniform how much stronger he'll be at that point that's just insane however i will say this if you take away the all defense strikers and if you take away the all defense he is he does seem a little bit more human his damage does drop a little bit and you do notice um a little bit more that he, you know he's not as strong because he doesn't have his own all defense down so he does rely on all defense down to um be you know impressive but he's still very very strong so what i want to do now instead of just doing you know striker stages i want to try stage 70 against call obsidians the same team here uh, and the nice thing about professor x is you can take advantage of white fox he has the leadership tag so you have a lot of nice options there for him but we're not going to use any strikers i want to see i think i can lock down call obsidian but i actually want to see if i can clear this um with with no strikers for reference in case you guys are wondering i can clear again this is with a regular obelisk this is not with a ctp guys this is not rage co content gameplay um he can clear uh stage 75 of ebony maw with uh with no strikers so that is pretty wild we're gonna have to wait and see how the damage looks when i pop the tier three but uh yeah it seems like he might be able to do it and the big key here against ebony or against uh Cull obsidian is being able to lock him down um so that he can't cleanse okay this damage is really bad so you can see here that sometimes his damage does seem kind of pedestrian okay maybe he can't do ebony maybe he can't maybe he can only do ebony uh maybe he can't do call obsidian yeah this this damage maybe 70 is too high this is with the proc no this is not happening okay let's try 60 here and see what's up okay this seems like this seems better yeah immediately this damage seems a lot more doable yeah you just have to keep track of the proc for the tier three and we completely missed it okay that was not good that was weird i kind of died i could just walk right through the um the tornadoes that was weird that was nice there we go that's a better proc yeah so you can see his damage without without all defense down his damage does start to seem a little bit more normal it's still really good and he's still really beautiful and you can see the damage numbers themselves are quite high but um on the on the flip side wow that's actually not bad maybe he can oh man 
Oh, I missed my proc. I was getting so greedy trying to get extra hits in. Hmm. Maybe he can't. 100,000. Wow. Wow. Maybe he can. Oh, didn't die to the bleed there. We're getting pretty unlucky with these procs, but uh, yeah. it's You know what's really calming and nice about playing uh, without strikers? Is there's no like crazy stuff on the screen, so... You can mind blast him with your auto attack. That's hilarious. I think he has mind blast on his auto attack. No, please don't kill me. Man, I keep missing my tier 3. That's why I think a judgment would be really good for him because you can cancel his tier 3. I think you could play a lot more aggressively with him if you had a CTP of judgment or a CTP of rage because you can just perfectly cancel his skills and you can spam them a lot faster, a lot sooner. You don't have to worry about accidentally triggering your proc. Like there, I just triggered it on my first skill. The, here, I wouldn't have to wait for my next proc in order to um, pop the tier 3. So yeah, I do think I do think he's made for like a CTP of rage or a CTP of judgment. But uh, let me show you guys one more thing. So this is stage 50 of Thanos, which is wild and very, very high. Only my strongest characters with CTP of Rage can do this stage. It's definitely not for, you know, every character. But uh, let me show you guys. Okay, so he does crazy damage here because you can apply all defense down, which is wild. But then what happens is... Um, essentially because he can't now so now because of the debuff he can't apply his mind resistance down for his mind damage and he also can't um, he also can't mind control Thanos right so basically his damage falls off a cliff so this is with the proc I mean it's not bad you can see the nut like you can see it's moving but um, I think with a CTP of Rage, you'd be more impressive. But I think if you wanted to do this kind of content, you would need a Rage specifically. But um, I just wanted to show off that like his burst damage is insane with all defense down. But he does he does seem a little bit more um, human when, uh, when you take away the all defense down and stuff. But the nice thing about him against Thanos is... See, yeah... Not quite, not quite the, the, the behemoth we were thinking he was. But this is not bad. Right here is not bad. Um, but, uh, so yeah, he can't do this. He can't do stage 50. But he does have a regular damage proc obelisk. So, I don't know. I don't know what I expected. I guess I just expected him to be able to do everything because he can do 99 so easily. Um, I mean, this damage is not bad. He's doing, like, almost half a bar with a regular damage proc obelisk on stage 90. That's actually cool. He, maybe he can. You know what? Maybe he can do um, this stage. He's really not that far off. We're, we still have three minutes to go. And the nice... Oh, yeah. So, sorry. I was saying the nice thing against Thanos specifically is that um, your fifth skill lets you move around, which means that when Thanos does his slam down attack, you can actually just move around and dodge it. So I actually think that makes Professor X one of the best characters um, against against Thanos, specifically because of that fact that you can uh, more easily dodge his most annoying and most most threatening move uh, by just moving around. Hmm. I was a little bit less impressed with his damage, to be honest with you guys, uh, the first time I tried him against Thanos, but this seems a little bit better. Yeah, except when you miss your proc. When he misses the proc, it's just like, okay, kind of whatever damage. You know what? I actually don't think he can do this. I got my hopes up too high. But he's not far off. For a character that's tier 3 with no uniform, and... Oh, I think I'm dead here. Ah, tier 3 with no uniform... 
and using a regular obelisk so i might slap a ctp of rage on him and see what he can do the thing with the ctp of rage is that it's going to be difficult to cap out the crit rate and the dodge to really take advantage of it so you might need to throw a lot of odin's blessings at him but man he's actually so strong i think i was almost trying to underestimate him a little bit in this video i didn't want to overhype him and be like guys professor x is the best tier three ever but that was actually more impressive than the first time i tried it on stream against thanos and there was just such a stark contrast in the in the amount of damage he was doing before and after in the you know the first nine bars he just wipes it away instantaneously with the co-op uh, and then the tier three but then in the, in the later half the damage really falls off but it really wasn't that bad and the whole time i was playing i was comparing him to namor um and a lot of players have actually been comparing professor x to namor because namor came out and he was so strong and he was an 800 ccf tier three and a mutant and then a couple updates later he gets a uniform and he becomes even stronger so imagine they do that to professor x now it would be a bit of a bummer to give him a uniform because this outfit is so beautiful and i don't know what they would do for the uniform because you don't know the, how do you get his bios right danger room what are you gonna do there's another pack in danger room that you play to get his bios to upgrade his uniform or you can just you, you can only upgrade it via tickets i don't know but um yeah i think the only the only issue for players now is uh do they keep him with a regular obelisk or do they try to push him even further with the ctp if it's judgment just slap it on and go if it's rage i think you are gonna have to invest some some Ob odin's blessings to try and uh, cap out his stats like especially focus for the crit rate because you don't get any dodge odin's blessings so you're gonna have to make those up with just six star dodge um odin's blessings and then you're not gonna be able to hit the cap for sure it's almost impossible to hit the cap um unless you have like a perfectly rolled ctp of rage i didn't mean to click that um and you might have to actually bring along someone like for example warwolf with the guaranteed crit and the crit damage would probably be a really good combo for professor x yeah i've got to ignore defense rolled here so that would be i couldn't even roll that to dodge that's a bummer so yeah anyways let me know what you guys think of professor x am i underestimating him am i overestimating him hit me up in the comments let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one. Take care.